9.40, it's Water Cooler Wednesday. Yeah, joining us today to stir things up as always, <laughs> our very own Corey Ventura, <laughs> Michelle up, Lewis right. from FM 100, and Dwayne Benton from Hollywood Radio.com. <laughs> Guys, welcome. Glad to have you Glad here. Thanks for having us. Are you They're ready to go gunk, to work? like giggling and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous I'm with excited. this guy. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> He's awesome. Brace yourself. You're going to be in love by the end of this segment. Okay, a Florida news anchor. Let's start there. Making headlines himself for walking off the set during a story about Kylie Jenner. Good day, Orlando host John Brown said he's sick of the Kardashians and he just is not going to talk about them anymore. He could be heard ranting off camera saying nobody cares about them anymore. He said it partially in jest, but it did make him feel better afterwards. Are people over the Kardashians, Corey? No. And who else have you? They're not? No. Rats. <laughs> I mean, I really don't. Just say, they off. just keep well, reinventing. Anyway, you're walking off <laughs> already? <laughs> Come on. I mean, they just keep reinventing themselves. And then with the younger ones becoming more of their, getting their own show, they're still marketable. They Do you care about them? I mean, I will watch occasionally. Really? Do I DVR it? No. Am I going to set my time to be able to sit down and yeah. watch? I've got other things to do. But no, they're not over. They're not so, over. Michelle, what about you? Is it kind of the, 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 the train wreck mentality? You, 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 know, you have to look <laughs> at it. You can't look away. Or, or what I, is it for you? People underestimate this family. I watch because I think, believe it or not, they're super smart. They have made millions off of doing nothing. And all this guy has done, <laughs> all this guy has done is make us talk about them Ten times as much. So they're they are everywhere it. this morning, and they are loving it. They're they're milking it. They're sending back counting their dollars, and we're just like, all right, well, we're still broke, but you keep making money. <laughs> Go ahead. I watch you. I all right. Them. Look at Dwayne over there, just nodding his head, just, just like, ready, really? to, just, just ready to jump in. I'm Go so ahead. Sick of these Kardashians. <laughs> Why are you so sick of? Them? Because they're making money from doing nothing, <laughs> but just living. I got a story. If you want to pay somebody to be on TV, come, come follow me. <laughs> I got something that you'll pay me for, seriously. They're branding machines. But they're very smart. They are, and they've taken all of that from the very beginning. Now they've got stores. They've got all this other kind of retail. It's, it's okay, but it becomes overwhelming. And I'm, so now the one thing I can say I like is Kanye West is not in the picture as much. Mm. Ah, now that's the silver lining. <laughs> <laughs> a very interesting way to look at it. Dissing my mind. All right, also in celebrity news, David Beckham is telling Chris to back off after they slammed him over a picture of his four-year-old daughter sucking on a pacifier. Now, critics say she's too old, and it could lead to health problems. David fired back, saying, quote, think twice about what you say about other people's children because you have no right to criticize me as a parent. So, Michelle, do you agree? Absolutely. When has it become acceptable for us to tell other people how to take care or raise our kids? I yeah. say, mind your business. For all we know, it can be something, the only thing that comforts their daughter. And he uses it to his advantage. Mind your business. 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 Mind your Something's wrong there, but a four-year-old, <laughs> come on, let parents do what they know will satisfy and calm their kid down. I've seen parents who give out the pacifier every now and then. So, Corey, you have a little one. I do have a little one. How he would you does, react he, in this situation? We are a no-pacifier family. <laughs> but, it just got awkward. Um, yeah, but I do agree with David Beckham, which I love being able to even say that sentence. I do agree with David Beckham because you have to do what is right at that moment, and that's yeah. what was right for him at that moment. I totally agree with that. Right. Okay. Totally agree. So don't criticize Corey if you see him in the grocery <laughs> store doing. Got one last topic here. All right, great news for some families over the past week. Three big companies, Netflix, Microsoft, and Adobe, are drastically expanding their paid parental leave policy. Netflix offers the best with unlimited leave for moms and dads the first year after a birth or adoption. The U.S. is the only developed country that doesn't mandate paid parental leave. So what should be the policy here? Dwayne, let's start with you because you don't have children. And so I know sometimes this creates tension in a workplace for those folks who don't have kids and they're watching their yeah. coworkers get 
Oh, okay, so the, so the Bible sort of re referenced not children, but in marriage. When a man marries a woman, he should take a year away from all of his duties and, and spend time with the wife. I think the same should go for families, husbands as well as mom. Now, I don't know, less than a year, right at a year, I think would be feasible enough for both to have a chance to take a break from life itself and be able to focus on the baby. What are you, running for office? I should be. <laughs> what, what are you doing, Dwayne? Do I get a close up? <laughs> look at him over there. All right, Corey. I mean, I think it's super important to be able to have that extra time. It, there's nothing worse, but when people think that you're just at home, vacationing when you have a baby that Boy. is so not the case you have not slept in in days preach preacher so it's not even plus people are spitting on you and you right know, I mean, it's yeah. not even like a little break <laughs> work? well, well work one, one, one person just to be a, a, a okay. good balance for both work life How and much home time? life i mean i'd love to have 6 months at least 6 months yeah. would be nice and justifiable like Michelle, what about Michelle. you how do you see this i don't have kids and i think that 6 months to a year is about the right time to maybe even alternate between husband and wife would be a great solution. But as somebody who doesn't have kids, it actually really upsets me the idea of when I do have a child that I have to worry about getting back to work because I'm so in fear of getting fired, but I can't have that bonding time with my child. And that first year is so crucial. And I, I don't even feel that way. I know so many parents that get robbed of that because they mm -hmm. feel they have to race back to work. Yeah. Six weeks. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Thank we're gonna, you. We're going to elect them, I think. All right. We the people. <laughs> <laughs>